r slash us credit what is your ha 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 oh wait your serious moment this was a few years ago i forgot how the topic was brought up but i clearly remember my older sister saying there aren't any modern buildings in egypt just pyramids i am in australia and first heard the news of 9-11 on my morning radio usa evening i was stuck in traffic near the army base and they announced it with sirens to start off with i thought it was a comedy sketch that i didnt think was particularly funny i had a pretty dark sense of humor too then i realized it was news holy crap asterisk asterisk some guys where i worked were planning to gang a girl in the parking lot when the shift ended asterisk asterisk it wasn't a hilarious haha story even at first but it really seemed like just really horribly inappropriate joking it was a lunch table I sat down at during my break with guys around my age. At first I was just really uncomfortable and just tried to shut up and tune it out. But then they tried to include me and it escalated to them full out planning details and I was just about sick at the table. I was absolutely sure they were going to do it. So as soon as they were gone I went and told my dad who was the safety guy at the plant, and he made sure cops were waiting for them in the parking lot and that girl had someone walking her to her car from then on. Whole thing was so fudged. Friend 1, hey man, how come you decided to shave all your hair off? Friend 2, the chemo kind of decided for him. Friend 1, ah fudge off Joe, no seriously though, how come? Me. He's actually not joking funniest crap that ever happened to me. An intern at the wet I work at was a very 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 sheltered Mormon. He came to work one day panicked. He had his first kiss the night before, asked the girl to marry him, and was concerned about his wedding date. He was absolutely convinced that he got her pregnant by kissing her. Absolutely convinced. It took me a long time to register what he was panicked about because it sounded so absurd. He delivered hundreds of kittens and puppies by then. I just thought he had also learned about human reproductive anatomy as well as animals by then. I once worked with a 50-some year old guy at my first job, who also happened to be a former crackhead. I added in that detail because his mannerisms and communication were clearly affected by his prior drug use, and he would sometimes laugh when he was telling serious stories. One day he was telling me a story about him accidentally setting fire to the woods when he was trying to cremate his dead pet frog when he was a little boy. I was laughing my butt off, strangely so was he, until he looked me dead in the eye, with a face that's as serious as they get, and says, I'm still not over it. I knew that look and knew he was actually being serious despite being in absolute hysterics with me while telling his story. I immediately felt like an... He was cool about it though thankfully lol. There's a girl at work who used to call the icing sugar tal powder. We didnt realize for weeks that she actually thought it was called that. She's actually a pretty switched on girl in general, she just has these weird things. When I learned I had totally forgotten to attend almost every single CL boot in one of my college courses. I forgot I had enrolled in it. A CL boot mate asked me, haha where have you been? You're never there when the teacher's taking attendance. And I was like, haha funny. So anyway, how's oh wait fudge, luckily it was only about a month into the semester and I managed to bring it back up to a low B. My estranged auntie sending me a message to disinvite me to my sick but alive father's funeral because, wait for it. I had lunch lunch with my little half brother and sister and that is disrespectful to my father. My father never let me and half siblings meet before this lunch had occurred and by meeting them, he disowned me. Literally, that's it. Just my fajid up family. When I was in high school I received a message over MSN from a buddy saying, Mitch is dead. Thinking he got into trouble, I responded with, ahaha what did he do? It turns out, he had a brain aneurysm while driving home from school. Started a new job in a company where my boss worked in two different offices. He wrote himself a note on legal paper. He handed it to me and told me to fax it to the other office. Then he told me to call them and tell them to put it on his desk there so he could have it tomorrow when he arrived. I smiled because I thought he was playing a joke on the new guy. He was not. He loves faxing. When I came back from lunch at work to find that one of the soft drink vendors, because at grocery stores they stock their own product, our stockers don't, loaded the pallets wrong and a tower of pallets fell, spilling soda, tea, butt everywhere. 
The boss store manager just so happened to walk into the back room at the same time, looked at me, and was like, you saw it, you're cleaning it up. Thinking he was joking as he liked to do, I laughed it off. That's when he looked me dead in the eye and said, no, I mean you're really cleaning it up because that's your job. Insert me spending the rest of my shift cleaning it up and my department head constantly calling me over intercom and getting yelled at and then written up the very next day because I didn't do my duties in addition to cleaning up that epic mess. Getting fired later that year was one of the best things to happen to me. Coworker was telling me the world was flat. I'd never met a real flat earther in the wild before that. It's ridiculous that tampon ads aren't banned. The fact they're allowed in public just goes to show that women have too much power. This wasn't in response to a particularly graphic ad that pushed any boundaries. Just a generic type about comfort and reliability. Took me a while to realize that he wasn't joking. I was on a Christian camping week here in the UK. There were some Americans with us. I found a stone on the beach with some great fossils in it and was showing it to some kids. One of the Americans started talking about how God had put fossils in the earth to mislead the vain who trusted their own observations rather than the Bible. I, naturally, thought he was joking and burst out laughing, and he was just so offended. He complained about me to the people running the camp, and they thought he was joking at first and laughed too. Someone once said to my friend, wait you're Chinese. I always thought you were Asian. Years back I dated a girl who would lie compulsively about random things, the first big example I went to her place, she'd just got Buttbutton's Creed for the first time and was really getting into the story. Like a week later she was telling me how she'd just discovered her family were related to Buttbutton's from Florence, I thought it was a joke but turns out she was serious, had changed her surname to something Italian on FB and had already spread the lie about on social media. In my head I was like, I literally watched you play Buttbutton's Creed last week, but she was gorgeous, W-A-A-A-Y out of my league, so I put up with this and other crazy crap for another six months before I gave up. There's a healing crystal in my foof. I thought she was joking, but no. Asked her if she believed in it, not really. I think she realized how silly it was. What a woman, though. My favorite musician is David H. Butelhoff. I laughed straight in her face. Mind you, this is 30 years ago, but even then. After a panel discussion, I went to the hotel bar with one of the other panelists to discuss our work. I was 32, she was in her early 60s, I believe. As we drank, she became flirty. I thought it was fun so I went along with it. When she invited me up to her room, I thought she was joking. She wasn't. It was quite awkward when I realized. Was working a job while in early days of college. It was in a popular American restaurant chain where I had been successful as a host, cashier, waiter, and member of their retail store for just about a year. I accidentally forgot that I had swapped shifts with someone and missed the shift entirely. But I came in a few hours after it had started to sincerely apologize and let them know I was going home to change and it'd be right back. They brought me to the back and told me I was fired. I laughed at first because the boss was occasionally a bit of a jokester. Then I realized he was serious. To this day it gives me imbutive anxiety about underperforming in any job I have because I believe I will just be fired for it and they'll move on regardless of my tenure or knowledge. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and smack that bell icon to stay up to date on our videos. See you next time.